I'll take anything, you know? I don't discriminate. I once hooked up with a girl in a wheelchair. Yeah. I call her Hot Wheels. Yeah. I swear to God, right before I hooked up with her, I thought I was going to go to heaven or something. Little did I know that she was the one that was doing the charity. This is not an act, man. A lot of haters out there. A lot of haters out there. A lot of, a lot of guys jealous of this. A lot of guys want to have this. It's all natural, my friends. A little tip for you. A little axe effect on the testicles, too. That's a free tip for you, though. Free tip on the house. A lot of comics out there don't like me. They say what I do is not really me. They say it's an act. It's a nerd gimmick. I'm like, yeah, they got a point. Because when I go home, I'm actually six foot two. I weigh 220 pounds. And I got 50 bitches waiting for me in my lair right now. That's how I roll. I got hot sisters, man. Hot sisters. Suck for me. In high school, it was always like Maddie and his good looking sisters. I remember in high school, somebody wrote in my locker, I'm gonna beat the crap out of Maddie and then fuck his sisters. That never bothered me though. That was a compliment to my family. I never took after my sisters. I always took after my grandfather. My grandma's always like, You've inherited all grandpa's traits. He dyed all the hair in his head. You'll never go bald. Then my mom was like, Grandpa was institutionalized five times. He tried to have sex with a grilled cheese sandwich. I've only been institutionalized twice, so that's three more sandwiches to go. Love being here, though. Someone needs oxygen. Uh, this kid used to take his jock strap, put it on my face, and say, Here, here's some oxygen for you. Disgusting jock strap on your face. Just like oxygen. You wanna hear my skin mark story? I did all types of gigs in this comedy game, man. I did a show at Hooters once in New Jersey. They paid me in those orange shorts. But I wear them sometimes. Only when I'm cooking. And then I asked my mom if she'd like her chicken mild or spicy. Never understood girls, man. They're wearing these t-shirts nowadays that don't even make any sense. I saw a girl with a shirt that said, you can't afford me on it. I was thinking if you're a hooker, that is really bad marketing. Why not just wear a shirt that says, I suck really good cock, but it's going to cost you. People want to put me in movies now. It's awesome. I was like, I want a good part. I want a part where I get to like kill bad guys with my bare hands. And I get to like race fast cars. And I was like, no, Maddie, we have the perfect part for you. You're just going to be this weird dude that goes around and starts sniffing girls. And it's not a stretch, because I've done that before. Let me tell you, man, I'm not one of those weird dudes. Don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those weird dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, they can, like, sniff a girl and, like, guess her perfume and be like, Oh, obsession. That doesn't take any talent at all. It takes talent. You follow a girl after she's been in the bathroom and then tell her what she had for lunch.